Welcome to God's Five Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson. Reach him at God's Five Minutes at gmail.com. Now, here's Ed Wilson with God's Five Minutes. Hello, friends. Israel's great poet, King David, ended Psalm 17 with a prophecy of his own future. As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. The word death is ugly, and so are the changes in our physical person that it brings. Seeing people die cruelly is a horror that scars a soul. Thoughts about death can be morbid and frightening. It is because of the dreadfulness associated with repulsive changes that happen to mortal clay after the lifeblood has ceased to pulse through our veins that cultures the world over and in all ages have tried to invent ways of speaking of the dark ending of life that softens death's rough edges. Instead of graveyards, we choose to speak of memorial gardens. We change undertakers into funeral directors. We attend farewell services and release balloons to make us think of a spirit soaring away from earth's confinements rather than reflect on the decaying remains we are committing back to the earth. And even the Lord Jesus spoke of passing through the final moments of life on earth as falling asleep. He is not dead. He has fallen asleep. David took this idea in exactly the opposite direction. He considered transitioning into the state that follows life here as awakening. To have the final cure to the fierce longings of our lower nature, we need to lay something aside and awaken to a new and better existence. All the disturbing strength, relentless, lustful cravings for garish shows and selfish fulfillment, the struggle against the better angels of our nature, all the feverish activity that inflames and wearies our souls in this tumultuous world, full of passions and yearnings that sullenly resist our efforts at spiritual mastery, the end is blessed, calm sleep. Yes, sleep indeed to the excitements and hardships of this world of struggle, but just as surely as those who die in the Lord leave behind adversity and hardship, so surely David looked beyond that simple unconsciousness through the vision of a prophet into a world only half glimpsed by his Old Testament peers, into a brighter and dawning awareness of something fulfilling and beautiful beyond. I will behold thy face in righteousness. Let me only fall asleep to the relentless scheming and plotting of those treacherous, ambitious fools who'll do anything to get my throne. Let me pass beyond the self-caused sorrow that has stained my life like red wine spilled into it, and through belief in the mercies of the God whom I serve, I expect to awaken like someone who has been half-dreaming a nightmare into a fuller realization of my God-given potential as a human being and a living soul, precisely because the end of life on earth is sleep for our true selves, for heart and mind, for powers that lie dormant in the lowest part of our nature, for all that universe of realities which encompass us, unrevealed and only appearing by faint murmurs which lightly disturb the drug sleep of life, the full revelation awaits awakening from life's stupor. This scripture teaches that beyond life's breath, the spirit that has been held down here shall spring into greater intensity of action, like a strong person rising from the bedroom, invigorated and active. We shall exert powers that have been repressed and come into contact with a righteous order of things we here sometimes see in shadowy glimpses without ever fully holding within our grasp. True, the world has had its light sleepers. Those whose eyelids have been thin enough to catch glimmerings and insight through brilliant rays that briefly reflect the life beyond, there are saints and prophets. But so much of the world sleeps on unconscious, yet the moment must come for each of us when we shall awake and see for ourselves the bright and terrific world we so often are tempted to think is only a dream. May God help us live so that our final and great awakening shall be as satisfying as David testified his would be. Have you talked to God today? You have been listening to God's 5 Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson. Reach him by email at g-o-d-s-f-i-v-e minutes at gmail.com. Tune in next time to hear more encouraging thoughts from God's Word on God's 5 Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson.
Are you a Christian who likes to read? If not, there's a whole world of Christian publishing out there that you're missing out on. I invite you to check out the Author's Corner podcast, where I talk to the latest Christian authors each week about their new book releases and what's coming next. So if you're ready to jumpstart your spiritual growth with the newest books and the authors who write them, check out the Author's Corner podcast with me, Roberta Foster.